my friends we have a very exciting video today oh you know on my channel i love high-end makeup and i love drugstore makeup and one thing that i especially love is dupes of high-end makeup and i have found what i think could be the perfect dupe if not better than the avh amrezi highlighter this one here um this is it this is what the packaging looks like this is the internals it's got this lovely wave pattern a tip pan because i've had this for a long time and i loved it for a very long time it is absolutely gorgeous my only issue with it is i need to be kind of fake tanned to wear it because it's a bit too dark for me now normally let's just give that a wee i mean look at it it is a stunning highlighter but it was limited edition it's not available anymore i don't know if they'll bring it back they might do it at some point in the future but no sign of that yet um and yeah i think you'll struggle to buy a new one basically so i was on amazon and i was typing in highlighters because i was just flopping around looking and i found highlights brilliance by hojo shimmering stereoscopic high disc uh yeah this is the this is in shade number two this is the box it came in this cost me i think it was let me double check it was five or six pounds five pounds 99 there we are so this is the packaging of the amazon dupe it's very similar to the abh one same size this is more like a silver on the bottom this is more like a rose gold um shade number two and this is what it looks like i've used mine now so it's not quite as pretty as it was it's got the wave pattern it just looks so similar here is a finger swatch let's pop her here <laughs> look at that looking at them up close and personal i would say the dupe is slightly more kind of peach toned and definitely a little lighter than the amrezi highlighter you can probably see that let me zoom you in and dim the lights a bit that's brightening them melissa and that is them there very very similar and to be honest the formulas feel really similar as well when you touch them but yeah this one's definitely a bit lighter the dupe one um, and i would say more glowy I've obviously got them both on my face. I won't tell you which side is which. You'll have to guess. So yeah, I'm gonna apply them to my face, both of my face, one on one side of my face. You'll see how it applies, see how it works. Let me know what you think. Let's just jump in. Let's stop fanning around and put on highlighter, which is one of the greatest products alive. Alive? Invented. What did we even do before highlighter? I definitely did not use highlighter when I was like 21. So I have most of my makeup on, as you can see, where's my voice going? It's really noisy outside, it's because it's like 30 degrees or something, maybe not quite that hot, but it's lovely and so there's a lot of people outside. Let me find my perfect brush for this first. <laughs> as always, super organised. This is a Morphe M501, it's just in different hand dogs, it came in a set. I'm going to put the jip on this side just because it's a lot easier to film putting it on this side and this side's just harder so let's crack her open let's see if the magic happens yep already the magic is happening wow <laughs> oh my goodness i've not put my brows on yet just so i could messily put this is this is like going so far. What I put on my brush. Oh, this looks wet on me. I can kind of see like little tiny particles flying about the air as I'm applying it, but it's definitely not glittery. But I will look at it up close in a sec. Let's put it on the the body. I'm going to put this on the centre of my face as well, just because I want this highlight to be the more dominant one compared to the ABH. Holy macaroni! Okay, I'm going to put that on my nose as well, again, just because I want this one to feature more. 
this is completely dry and my skin is just completely like I am actually baffled looking in the I don't think I have a highlight that looks like this like so like it's real intense but it looks I'm just look I look glistening I mean I know it looks like I've got a lot of highlight on because I do but it's like I just love when you find something that's real cheap <laughs> and just works so well. And then I'll take my Amrezi ABH and I've got another M321, you know, just so we can not mix them. And I'll turn as much as possible and pop this on. I can't tell if I'm in focus because I can't see my monitor. This is straight away very obviously not as intense. Still gorgeous highlighter. No doubt about it. Even on my cheekbone I can see this side better than this side. Um, I'll pop a bit of the Amrezi up here. I love highlight on the body, I think it looks gorgeous. I mean, I never bother with it when I'm actually going out and about, but it does look pretty, doesn't it? Okay. Oh. Yeah, this side just looks different to this side. This looks like kind of, I wanna say like smoother, more natural and more like a powder this side is more intense and I would say it picks up on my texture more but if you know me you know that I don't care about like skin texture showing and it just looks like wet and glistening like I've got like a glistening body or face oil on this side just looks like I've applied highlight both look great, more impressed by this. Honestly, I mean obviously the price has got something to do with that because how can you not be impressed by something that's that cheap when this is so expensive? Right, I'll finish off the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back and then we'll, we'll see. See what we think. Are you ready? Oh, if that is not satisfying, I don't know what is. My makeup is finished off. I will link what I'm wearing down below if you're interested. Um, shut up, phone. I have to say, in sitting and playing with this and playing with my Amarezi, which I don't really pick up much anymore because it's usually too dark for me and it's not available anymore, so I just don't really reach for it. This one is more beautiful. The Amazon one is more beautiful. It's like five pounds and it is more beautiful. The formula is kind of like a hybrid between just like a generic, really smooth formula and the Jeffree Star, what are they called? Supreme Frosts. These are more kind of glittery. This one is less glittery, but it does kind of like puff in the air and like sit around and it's just, <laughs> it is stunning. It is really stunning. My only issue is with it is I don't think I could wear this on a day when I don't have fake tan on and I don't have a deeper foundation on. I will need to look at the other shades. I think there's three shades available. Mine is O2 again. Um, so yeah, I'll need to look at the shades and see if there's another one that I can buy that's maybe more pale. Um, I could easily now get rid of my Amrezi and just use this because I do definitely prefer to use drugstore makeup on my channel when it works really well. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna get rid of my Amrezi. <laughs> it's mine. I am just, I am just so delighted with this. I'm so glad I bought it. It's just a beautiful highlighter. Just is. Just stunning, cheap, cheerful, you know? That is it, that's all I've got to say. This video does not have to be long. I will link it down below. It's an affiliate link, so if you wanna buy it, I'll get like six pence which is great for me, it all adds up. So yeah, I'll leave the link down below. If you don't wanna use my link, you don't have to, just search it up on Amazon. Yeah, very pleased. Gonna pop this straight into my collection and start using it more. Nothing else to say about it. 
So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching it. Let me know if you're going to pick one up. I'm definitely going to look at the shades and see if there is a paler one. Um, if you did enjoy the video, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. That'd be real nice. And yeah, I'll piss off now. I'm going to go for another walk in the park. It's a beautiful day. And I hopefully will catch you on the flip side. Bye!